Your Houston Morning News with Matt Patrick continues. K. Terry's News Time is 747. The biggest discussion these days is the border and illegal immigration. Romney and Gingrich say they're going to complete the 2,000 mile fence. Bachman wants a double fence. Ron Paul says by any means necessary. Perry says he can do it without a fence. Joining us, Congressman John Culberson, one of my favorites. Congressman Culberson, welcome back to Houston's Morning News. Good morning, man. Great to be with you. Great to be with you. All right, there's uh, many on the left that say it's cost prohibitive, uh, Congressman. Is that true? I mean, do we have the money to finish the fence? Oh, listen, the fence is important in certain urban areas, but the most and the most effective solution, Matt, is one that you and I know just from common sense is, as Texans, and that's aggressive law enforcement with zero tolerance. It's been done in the Del Rio sector. The uh, that sector is secured with zero tolerance. Uh, it's a partnership between the, 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 ju- the judges, the marshals, the prosecutors, the sheriff, the um, uh, everybody is working together, and I've been able to, to send them uh, you know additional help to the Appropriations Committee. This has been a personal project of mine, like the Katy Freeway. And the border in the Del Rio sector, in, in, in big pieces of the Laredo sector, in Yuma, in El Paso, the illegal crossings in Del Rio matter at the lowest level they've been since they began keeping records. The crime rate has plummeted. The local uh, population, which is 96% Hispanic, supports this very strongly. We have secured the border. We've proven it can be done with zero tolerance. You just enforce the law and let law enforcement officers do it using their good judgment, their good hearts. Obviously, a, you know, a pregnant woman with kids, they're going to put them back across the border. But everybody, every other knucklehead that comes over illegally, bye-bye, you're gone. Up to six months in prison, first offense, current law, just enforce the law. It works every time. All right, Congressman John Culberson joining us. And, Congressman, if you would hang on for just a second, when we come back, I was recently on uh, Lou Dobbs on Monday on Fox Business, and we were talking about, in California, a legislator that wants amnesty for all illegals in California. I'll get your response to that. KTRH News Time is 752. Congressman John Culberson joining us this morning. Congressman, thanks again for your time. You betcha, man. Was talking to Lou Dobbs on his show uh, Monday. California Democratic lawmaker Felipe Fuentes has introduced a measure that would allow about a million undocumented immigrants to live there and work there without getting deported. All he needs is 500 signatures from uh, Californians. So is this the way that we should be dealing with illegal immigration? Certainly, I don't know what the federal authorities would think about this, but he says he's going to do it on a state level. No, certainly not. It's just wrong to let people cut in line, those who have waited patiently, done it the right way, and waited for years to get into the country legally, uh, deserve the right, obviously, to go first. It's wrong, obviously, to allow people to break the law and get away with it. And, and then finally, we also need to remember that we cannot afford it as a nation. We're at uh, levels of record debt, record deficit. The money that we spend today is all borrowed, Matt. hundred uh, percent of the income to the federal government goes right out the back door to pay Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, interest on the national debt, and veterans' benefits. So every nickel we spend is borrowed, and we're not going to continue to subsidize illegal aliens. Quick question. Are you concerned that the Republican nominee, whoever it may be, might cave a little bit, might move a little closer to the center if they've at this point taken a hard line on immigration? No, because the country will not stand for it. There's just an instinctive, visceral resistance to the idea of amnesty, of legalizing illegals. Obviously, we need a guest worker program so people can come here legally to work. We want to keep that relationship with Mexico going. But it begins with a secure border, which means enforcing existing law, which is six months in jail if you cross illegally. All you've got to do is do what we have done so well in Texas and proven works. You enforce the law with good sense and a kind heart, but you enforce it with zero tolerance, as the knuckleheads from New Orleans discovered after the hurricane. Uh, you, you're going to go to jail if you break the law in Texas. We need to do the same thing from Brownsville to San Diego. That border will be nice and quiet, as it is in Del Rio. And then we can get into a thoughtful debate about a guest worker program so people can come here legally. Who are you? How long are you going to stay? When are you going home? You're going to not going to get access to government benefits. That's key, Matt. We've got to make sure people who are here illegally are not getting access 
to our overburdened uh, welfare systems because we as a nation cannot afford it anymore. We're broke, last time I checked. Mm. Congressman, it is always a pleasure to have you on with us. We love having you on. Congressman John Culberson joining us this morning. Have a good day, sir. Matt, thank you very much. And Arlene, Ocasio's days are numbered. Well, thank goodness. We'll get you back and talk about that, all right, Congressman? Yeah, bye-bye, Arlene. Bye-bye, Arlene. And he would be the guy that would defund her salary in order to get her out of here. Congressman John Culberson.